Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Steele and you crochet with Lava V. Welcome everyone. Look at my hair. <laughs> hey, don't see my white, my white hairs, okay? Hmm, I know. So welcome, welcome everyone. So and in this video, um, you'll see the title is How Can Pinterest, in, in, Pinterest, Pinterest, what is it called? Hmm. Well, you know this app <laughs> well welcome everyone so how this app inspired me to crochet um so i would just like you know um i'm gonna say thank you everyone um i really really appreciate it this one this could be just a video um what is gonna be crochet what i've been working on and show you the progress and you're gonna be me crochet but i'm not gonna say anything um i don't know how this video that's gonna be gone so um but i just decided to do this video so you can see how it can inspire myself to when sometimes i just like what i'm gonna crochet today what i'm gonna do you know sometimes you get you so tired in some projects that you've been working and you're just gonna change that is me <laughs> i don't have a problem with that you know some people they like oh no when i finish i start another one and that's fine you know everyone working in different ways but me <laughs> i work in here i work in there and sometimes i don't even finish the project <laughs> thank you everyone for being here with me today and don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave your comments and you're new here welcome welcome to crochet with lava v yay thank you so much i really really appreciate it if but you're not, you're not new here. Well, welcome again. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so I always say, get your favorite drink, get your snacks, and of course, get your whips. So you can crochet and just you can join the show. Okay, so um, you can see I've been doing a lot of crochet bags and I've been working in a lot on granny squares, right? Um, in the specific with the new yarn uh, from Red Heart, um, this one right here, right? Super easy, super quick, and granny squares with the granny stitch, granny squares. You can do it in different colors. This, you know, I have just only these colors uh, with me. So I'm gonna crochet here and there, you know, finish some projects with that. You can see these two bags I finished, and this one too, there was three bags that I finished completely working with this amazing yarn. Some people, they don't like it, um, but that's okay, you know. I love it. They save me time and quick the, uh, finish with the project. So, <sighs> talking about the app, um this app right here because if i'm not pronouncing right you know what i'm talking about pinterest okay so i will show you a couple pictures that i was looking you know this is not my pattern this is not my design this is just only inspiring me to crochet um here's the first picture um you can see that is the first one um just give me the idea you know and what colors or maybe you know what in this time um i'm trying working on this one so get it done with that yarn i don't have a lot so um you're gonna see a lot of pictures coming and different designs got a different ideas what you can do only download this app type whatever you're looking for and they inspire you sometimes they come with the pattern sometimes they come with the uh people they doing um like a little quick video you know um some it just the projects that they finish 
and I'm, I'm not looking for the patterns or nothing like that because I can read the patterns and I just it's super easy super simple real quick if you know how you do it this okay a granny squares you can design too many things now um one of the pictures you can see there's a huge big square and on the side that's kind of the that's a good big on my other project so that's gonna be um i'm going to um get my scrappy yarn um and working with that but this could be i'm not gonna be control the colors i just go wherever they go and get it done and um and that those kind of back like this bag right here hopefully i'm putting right in the picture right um you know this could be with fabric and now i don't know how they're gonna be um the um i'm gonna say um uh, the process it can be taking me a week it can be taking me a couple of days i don't know because right now at the moment i have so many squares see right here this ones i had to put it together maybe you're gonna use that you're gonna see me crochet or something like that so um yeah so you can create a pin so that way you can save it and when you get it done one project you know if you want to make it something else and you don't know well just go back and your pin just you know just name the pin and so that way just you can um look at it um what else um so you know what no what else let's go and let me get my scrappy yarn and select the colors like select the colors and the way i'm not gonna put it in order just just only they can be match each other so um i know i have a big bag you're gonna see i had a big bag and i saw a bag a total bag like this one this side with the yarn and the scrappy yarn right there so okay so i'm in my living room and i got the uh, the bag in here so, and also I have some that I just start something and then I just, just, just never finish. I was using this hook and this one is eight millimeters and hopefully you can see it. There we go. But forget it. Okay, so here is some scrappy yarn. There's, I can see there's beautiful colors. Um... So let me take in this uh, bag over there. Okay, so looks like some already kind of matched together. Let's see. Yep. What do you think? Some just like that. Okay, so let me take in this bag. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use this one first. And I had another bag, but that one is a bigger mess. Um... So I'll go be choose colors, whatever I like it and whatever this look match together. But let me, I'll go take in this one to the crochet room. Right now I'm in my living room. I bring in this one right here today and because I was um, making the uh, the bag, this bag right here with the, the happy face. That one, it was what I was um, crochet. And so maybe I'm gonna do in different colors, but I just decided I need two colors. Um, I was using kind of like this color, but it was on the, um, it was, um, I love this yarn. Both of us, I love this yarn. So let's go to the crochet room. On the back, I already had this basket ready, the yarn like this. So what do you think? So this just kind of like a, this is kind of like a cream color. This is the yarn that I buy from, um, Dollar Tree so look at that and you know but what i've been noticed and i've been noticed when i was crochet with this yarn some yarn is look like a more is more the other one so i got my dough in here well not bella lady she's in here lady she's been doing <laughs> things in there um so let me just take this out these kind of colors and let's see and 
what do you think about these colors so i think these colors is gonna be really nice that i just i can crochet and finish the project let me try and just put in everything here on the basket so you can see and um i don't know about this one look at this color this one had like a little yellow i don't know maybe this I and mean, i had another basket um that it was on the back but also this is how much i had left on here this is the big bag so you can see this is the how much yarn that i got left so um and well let me show you this one first so this is pretty much the colors what do you think do you think all these colors going together right but i guess um and i have more in here more this color more than this this is kind of like a more brown so black brown this one is parchment parchment that's the name the color for this one let me see let me try to put it there we go so this is kind of a little different maybe this is the same thing i don't know so this is the first basket all for the um um for all the all the scrappy yarn so this one i was i was just still thinking about it about that and here is the other basket there is this is just uh you see on here you know on this part right here that i have some extra extra yarn let me see i can see it right right there so in case i need some more other colors well i just go and get it from there so i got this pink and i think let's go with this one maybe with the basket i don't know like i say i just go be crochet on whatever they go so here is the dark colors kind of dark colors and stuff like that so that thing I, I don't know i will see which one i'm going to decide to crochet first but i don't know this one let's go with that one and this one i know this one is a um um oh my gosh big twist this one is hobby lobby i'm pretty much it is because it's really really soft so all this yarn right here i was using and that one right there i was using on the um on the scrappy on the scrappy blanket that i made it um yeah so and give me a second away with the blue and the blue basket kind of like a pastel colors i'm gonna say the pastel colors or the dark colors a uh, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook i'm gonna use this one so let's start it so i'm going to start with the other basket i don't know you guys i kind of like i'm not crazy about um pastel colors I don't know what you think, All right? So, um, let me just start it and let's go see how this thing is turned. Completely the first part, you know. I'm sorry, y'all. I got my dog right here. Let me see, I can see it this is my lady this is my baby hi baby hi yeah no she's so big <coughs> hi baby what you doing yeah she's been um <laughs> playing here in my room look at that hi baby hi how you doing <laughs> what what you doing huh you're making too much noise, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't bite. No, no. Okay, get down. I I was to start with the yellow, but at the same mind, I said, you know what? Let me change the other color. <laughs> so I got in this one. So this is so far I crochet. Now I don't know that I will be deleted the other part about when I was when I was crochet on um, the color yellow. 
right there well you're not see it you want to say what are you talking about what color will you start a yellow <laughs> so um i almost get it done with this color and let's go see how much yarn so this is how much yarn that i got left with this one so one two and three and ooh, this is how much i got so this is how much um did and it's one two three rows and this is what did i did this is so far so let's keep going This is how much I did so far. So that is the way it's look like right now. So now what I'm gonna do um I had to I had to make in two of these and I still I still got to go maybe hmm maybe one or two more times so i had an extra yarn and it's the same color so i still gonna use part of these so get it done to here and i will use it in another color i don't know why the color but i had to make them two of these the same size i want to and also i had to make them four four squares yeah number two so let me just show you the part already again the number one this is how the look this is the colors you can see i'll just repeat on the last one it could be the same color right here and no matter the point is you know just different colors whatever um so here's the first one and here is the second one and this is what it, that I did, and that is completely different color. So, like I said, I was just going to use my um, my scrappy yarn, and yeah. So, what do you think? So, this is the first one. I mean, the second one, and this is the first one. Like I said, this is just totally different. So, and I'm keep going. So, this is how much I left on this one, and yeah that's pretty much you know the two bigger squares on granny stitch and also i created this is one square granny square this is the other one and this one i just did two rows of our and color yellow and in this one i did three so i got these two and I got these two and these two. So I decided doing only two colors. Like I said, this bag is gonna be different kind of colors, whatever. Um, on the purple one, on this one, this is how much I got left right here, and how much I got left on yellow. So all these right here, and also the purple or pink this right here i just gonna put it together and make like a you know yarn stash like bowl you know um so so far i got these um these three colors like and also i got this one right here and this right here so i'm gonna be playing with this one so i don't know which one i'm gonna be like to get connecting the square but also i had to do in the bottle on the back so like get these two together like this and just crochet and maybe like a um half double whatever the size is gonna be for um to here to here you know so that's one thing 
I don't know. Let's see how they go. Oh, and before I go, um, I just got this one for the snack. I just want to share with you what I have for the snack today. I got some dates and I just open it, you know, and what I'm going to do, I just going to put it like a piece or um, like this and just eat it. And I have some uh, raspberries and blueberries. And of course, I got my water. What did you have for the snack? You like to share with me? Just leave a comment and I'll be back and I'm going to show you the process. I just thought, um, well, I just saw it on one side. So, um, this is how they look. I did with the crochet hook. So, um, yeah. And I put it on the other sides too. And I did with the crochet hook too right here. So, um, now when I get it, the part on the bottom right here, so that way I just copy sew everything and I'll try I'm gonna use all the same color. That mean is kind of like a honey or gold color. So yeah. So this is so far is look like. So um I put it some clip in here, you know, like a call they can hold the the, the project. So um they have to be supposed to be like this, well, on the size. Um, the square had to like, you know, the one and the two and the three. So I'll just put it like that way. I know this just, <laughs> this one is going to be look like a crazy bag, but I hopefully it look nice. I don't know, but it's not well, you know. So, um, let me continue. Now I'm going to do the part on the go on the bottom right here. I'll be back. <laughs> This is, um, I'm working on the, um, half double crochet and I did 15 change. So let me see. So this is go on to the square like that. So try to count, count or can I get it in the same, you know, the same, um, size on this, on the granny squares, on the granny square right here, this one. So, and, and that's going to be. Just something like that. Now, if if this one gets so because this one is a stretch, you know, I mean, it's pretty much good. So let me see. You can see that one right there. So that is good. And maybe I can have to do maybe like one or two more. So you see this part right here. So I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do one or two more and get it done. And so, but yeah, so this is so far. So let me just put it together and you're gonna see the next step. Not completely the back. And um, so I start make the cake like this on the uh, different colors that I'm gonna use for the handle. And I'll just already, so let me show you how far it look like the bag. Um, already the squares together and everything. It's huge. It's huge bag. It's really big bag. So, um, I don't know. You know, some people that like to get some big bag. But also, this kind of bag um, can use for... You know, like if you go to the pool, you go to the beach, you know, you can put a lot of things in there. And of course, they're going to have fabric in there. So, this is so far the bag is look like for in the front. Like, in the front on the back, this could be whatever. Um, One side and 
this is already started doing the uh, for the you know for for that the um you know put it on your arm so this is another this is how they look and on the squares this is the squares that i tell you that i did different you know like one and two and three you know um and it just um the good thing is i have enough yarn so the purple one the dark purple or it's kind of like a plain color you know plain color and kind of like a dark purple so i did in this side is the same thing and also i just put on this one remember that i showed you that i did on half double crochet and yeah so i just put it on with the hook you know i mean either way you can do what by a needle but as you know what this i'm not gonna do with the hook i think it's more i think it's more fast i don't know but um so now i start just doing on the uh, the part you know so you can put it on your arm so and i did a single crochet around the bag so and this color like i said the handle this could be so completely different colors a lot of different colors like you see in here so yeah so let me continue and i'll be back and i show you the progress of that i'll be back i just cut the fabric and um this is the fabric i'm gonna use to put it on this bag okay you see it right here so let me show you real quick i mean i really like it so what do you think about i mean i just put a lot different uh colors i still had to cut out the little extra pieces in here and there you know so like here and here so this is the handle for the bag um and that is the colors that i just did and it is a really nice let's see you see that so i need to um there you go you see that i really like it it is so big you know like if you use them for like you like go to the gym you can put your stuff in here you go to the pool i mean it's really pretty big so um so that's the colors that i use you can see most the colors um i'm not even finished this color right here but i said you know what and i'm not keep going because i don't want to like get so thick you know it's still a little bit thick but um yeah so let me get it down the fabric um sew it and i'll be back points on each corner like on each side so that it is the way it's look like so now i'm going to put in this one on inside the bag and let's see let's see and i i'm going to start um sew it but now there's gonna be sew it by hand so i'm not you see that so this is what that i like you know this part right here you see that 
let me put it in and let me let me put it inside and let me start sewing completely done the bag yes so i completely the bag and let me tell you i love it <laughs> i i mean i want to keep him for myself but you know so here is my a scrappy crochet granny square bag i said scrappy because it's scrappy yarn so you i use it mostly i not use all the yarn but on the dark colors you know but this is how they look i really love it so now let me turn into the other side so you can see the fabric you see that that's the fabric and that is the way it look like so let me just show you see that was exactly exactly and exactly um size the way i cut it and you see that was just you know sew it in a small stitch so let me put the stuff let me just take a picture and let's show video so you can see how the look completely final so hopefully you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um leave your comment and hopefully you like this video and see you in the next one have a wonderful and beautiful and amazing yarn day Bye.